Well, good morning and welcome to our little corner of the world here in the digital realm, as it were, looking at uh, taking our midday look at what's going on around the water cooler, what people are talking about. Maybe you've heard of something called 5G. The latest move in the race to 5G came on Saturday when China threatened Germany with retaliation should the country exclude Huawei Technologies as a supplier of 5G wireless equipment, citing the millions of vehicles German automakers sell in China. So if you don't know, 5G is the fifth generation cellular network. First generation wireless allowed voice communication, followed by 2G, which added text, 3G, which added basic computing. 4G unleashed higher data speeds, which allowed for greater mobile web access, gaming, high def video, and more. 5G is even more powerful, with average download speeds of more than one gigabyte per second. That's about 20 times faster than 4G, which many of us are on now. 5G is not widely available in the US just yet, and there aren't very many people who even own devices capable of uh, riding an ultra-fast network. So there is 5G service in select cities. Uh, right now, if Detroiters want to be part of the 5G network, they'll need to go with Verizon as their supplier. So the Huawei angle in this is that, if, okay, if, if you're going 5G with Huawei, what's to say that they're not going to spy on, on phones? I mean, it's China after all. That's the safety or the privacy concern, right? Yeah, that, uh, that concern has been raised by, uh, by politicians and intelligence officials. Um, Huawei has denied, however, oh, that of, of any course of they will. products you know, pose a risk. Uh, of course they're going to deny it. Yeah. So last month, China's three state-run carriers launched 5G service in 50 cities. Although U.S. companies launched the service earlier in the year, China boasts the biggest 5G network, commercial network. So this, you know, obviously is going to create significant economic op opportunities. Roger Wicker, a Republican from Mississippi, he's the Senate Commerce Committee chairman, uh, said in February... Uh, that he stressed that 5G has the potential to revolutionize healthcare, agriculture, and transportation in the U.S. To realize all of these base, the uh, let's see, failing to win the race to 5G would not only materially delay benefits for the American people, it would forever reduce the economic and societal gains that come from leading the world in technology. So that was uh, Roger Wicker back in February. So despite the Trump administration's efforts to hamper Huawei from, by blocking it from the American market, uh, the Chinese company seems to be dominating the development of 5G. In September, Huawei announced that it had scored more than 50 commercial 5G contracts globally. The closest competitors were most recently known to be Nokia with 45 commercial deals and Ericsson with 24. Huawei is also shedding itself of dependence on American chip manufacturers. With Trump's executive order in May, American companies were temporarily, temporarily restricted from shipping to Huawei. However, th this did not hold the company back. The latest phone from Huawei, the Mate 30, was launched in September and contains no U.S. parts, according to an analysis by UBS and Fomalhaut Technical Solutions. So it basically is a direct competitor to the iPhone 11, which, unlike Huawei's new device, lacks 5G. Remember when it was the internet? What's that? What, remember when what was No, that? you don't. Yeah. I just remember <laughs> that. First it was HDTV and the internet, more or less arriving simultaneously. I can remember doing a story way back in 1996 when I was working up north. Went to Sears Brand Central to see the very first HD TVs that were arriving with huge price tags that were going to replace the square screen or the 4x3 screen TVs that we had all known and loved to that point. And then shortly thereafter, all of a sudden, I remember I was in my boss's office and uh, there it was Yahoo's homepage. Hmm. So, what's that? Oh, that's the internet. 
with the World Wide Web. Now we're on to 5G in uh, 23 uh, short years. Ah, 23 yeah. years. You'll be able to download an entire movie to your phone in two seconds. I remember when it was a big deal just to be able to take a movie on a plane. <laughs> you had to download for like three hours. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. Uh, we appreciate you, and we'll be back very soon with another uh, midday uh, report from around the water cooler.